Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use depth of field in Blender. Let's get started the lecture. We have such a simple scene. As you can see, objects were placed at a certain distance between them. I will share the download link in the video description. First of all, let's define what the depth of field is. In photography, depth of field is how much of your image is in focus of the camera. It is the distance between the nearest and farthest objects that are sharp and in focus in your photos. The objects that are in the camera focus look sharp. The objects that are out of focus look blurred. Let's see how to work depth of field in Blender. First of all, we need a camera. Because, in the 3D viewport, depth of field only works while in camera view. Before adding camera, determine a viewpoint. Press Shift A and add a camera. Press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0, and align the camera to view. Press G key, and drag the camera so that the objects fits to camera view. With the camera is selected, click on the camera properties tab. So, we can see the camera settings in the right panel. Scroll down to depth of field section, and enable the depth of field. We need to determine the focus point for depth of field. Firstly, we can choose an object in the scene to define focus point. Let's choose the green monkey head with eyedropper as focus object. As you can see, we cannot see any difference so much. It is because, in the aperture section, f-stop ratio value is set to high number. f-stop ratio controls the amount of blurring. Lower values give a strong depth of field effect. Let's set the f-stop value to 0.1. In this case, the camera will focus on the green monkey head. Now, select the yellow monkey head as focus object. As you can see, the yellow monkey head looks sharp, other objects look blurred in the scene now. The other method to define camera focus point, is to set the focus distance. This is the distance to focus point from the camera. To activate the distance value, let's delete focus object. Let's enable the limit option in the viewport section. So, we can display the focus point in the viewport. Press numpad 3 to switch to right view. Now, we can increase the focus distance value. As you can see, the focus point is sliding to right side. If we want the camera focus on the yellow monkey head, we need to align the focus point to the yellow monkey head. Press numpad 0 to switch to camera view. There we go. In the same way, we can align the focus point to any object we want to be focused in the scene. We can use depth of field with Blender Cycles and EV Render Engines. Let's switch to Render Preview Mode. Now, we display the scene with cycles. In order to get Render, go to Render Menu, and Render Image. We can get more realistic render with cycles, but it will take longer time to render. So, I'm gonna use EV Render Engine. Click on the Render Properties tab, and switch to EV. EV is real-time render engine, so, we can see the changes quicker in the viewport. Click on the camera properties tab, and back to depth of field settings. Blades value is total number of blades, used to change the shape of the blurred objects for polygonal bokeh effect. The minimum amount of blades to enable the bokeh effect is 3. If we set the blade value to 3, the shape becomes triangular. If we set the blade's value to 4, results in rectangular shape. If it is set to 5, the shape becomes pentagon. The higher we set this value, the smoother shape will be, and result in circular shape. If we set the blade's value to 0, it becomes circular shape also. Let's set the blade's value to 3. Rotation value controls rotation of the blades in aperture.
ratio value controls the amount of distortion. If it is set to 1, it means no distortion. If it is set to below 1, it causes a horizontal distortion. If it is set to above 1, it causes vertical distortion. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.